Proactive employees are those who, without needing to be told, make things happen. They use their initiative to improve work practices, build new networks, and proactively identify opportunities. Who wouldn't want their employees to be proactive? But is proactivity in the workplace always beneficial? No. Sometimes, proactivity can have negative consequences. People can make things happen, but they can be the wrong things, such as introducing change that doesn't fit the organization's needs. Proactivity can hurt others' interests. An employee might proactively negotiate a lighter workload with the supervisor, yet end up offloading tasks under their already overstretched peers. Proactivity can also hurt the proactive person herself, such as when a person introduces too many new projects that go beyond their capability and resources, causing depletion and burnout. So how can employees be proactive in an effective way? Based on a comprehensive review of academic articles on proactivity, researchers found that employees need to engage in wise proactivity. Wise proactivity includes three aspects. First, wise proactivity involves considering task and strategy of the organization. Employees need to consider whether proactivity is needed in the situation, and if it is, what type of change is needed. There's no point, for instance, starting a new quality management system simply because other organizations are doing it. The more one's proactivity fits with the task and strategy of the team or the organization, the more likely it will achieve positive outcomes. Second, wise proactivity involves considering social and relational dynamics. As proactivity actions often affect others, if an employee is suggesting a new way of dealing with customer complaints, this will affect all customer service agents in the team. Employees need to ask questions like, have I considered other people's views about ideas? How might my supervisor react to this action? The more one's proactivity is considerate of others' perspectives, the less likely it is to cause resistance or resentment, and ultimately, the greater its chance of positive outcomes. Third, wise proactivity requires employees to engage in effective self-regulation. This means managing one's own feelings and interests. For instance, employees need to consider, am I the right person to be proactive given my interests, expertise, and resources? How can I optimize my time to achieve this proactive goal effectively? How can I stay on track if things go awry? The more one's proactivity considers oneself, the more likely it can be sustained as people would have the ability and persistence to carry it through. Most importantly, it's the balance across the three aspects that makes proactivity wise. If a person considers only their own interests when being proactive, this would hardly be wise. Similarly, sacrificing one's own interests just to meet the needs of others or the needs of the organization would be unwise. Being proactive and making things happen is important in organizations, but we need people to make the right things happen in the right way. Be wise in your own proactivity to achieve sustainable and optimal results.